We spent two days with Tom and his team on assisted conversion installing an Alpha E-Tech NX 33 kilowatt boiler. He fell out of the attic, got mauled by a dog, and spent a lot of time sucking a few pipes. <laughs> Subscribe for more content like this and enjoy the episode. You missed me. <laughs> Not missed that, no. <laughs> For sink because we're on conventional system, so water off up the taps, and that's just going to drain the big tank in the loft, get some water out of the um, system right down to the tap, and then obviously that then gives us it's going to take less time to drain the cylinder. But while we're doing that, obviously, because that's going to take time and I can't get the holes on it just, and um, what I'm going to do is just get prepared now so I can get to um, the heating. I'm going to see if there's a drain off behind this heating. Uh, behind the boiler to get onto the heating so obviously that will then drain the system from upstairs all the way down drain the heli tank in the loft after like i said we was taking off the panels and stuff to get prepped to find out where we can drain it down from so on the side of this boiler they've used one of the plugs on the side and put a drain off on it so we're going to drain the heating system from there so get a start it draining once it starts to slow down um, I'll go upstairs then and start venting the radiators upstairs. Um, I will have a look at trying to see if we can vent these rads downstairs, see if we can get the water out of the radiators downstairs as well. <laughs> so we've only got one valve. So all we're doing, because I'm using them heating pipes that are already at the boiler, yeah? Right, okay. So we've got, this is your return. So, I'll take, take that off, let's make it a lot easier for it to see. So, so you've got your return, that, we're just going to blank. Okay. Yeah. Don't take this out, because that's feeding a rad. Right. Alright, why? It's, that is feeding the bathroom rad. Got, I'll let, you'll have to shout me when you need to. We'll try and take these out, yeah. especially that one. Uh, obviously, that'll just pop off anyway. Just take this off wall as well. Yeah. Just as much as we can, get out of the way. Um, if we have to cut that, just give us a shout. I'll cut it, I'll screw it back in after. Um, so all we're doing with this, basically, it's dead easy. You've got your hot at the back. See that down there? Comes yeah. off top of the cylinder, goes down, then you've got your vent going up. And then that's your hot feed to the rest of the house going down. That vent, we don't need anymore. So that pipe going down, when you take this out, you'll see it. We'll just give me a shout and we'll come up and we'll have a look. And we'll just see where it goes. Any other pipe work going up to the loft, we haven't got anything dropping down. Um, we'll just have to have a look, where does that shower pipe come from? We'll have a look in the loft and just see if that shower's fed from the loft. Right, okay. So when we go up and cut the pipes out in the loft and the tanks, we'll have a look and just see if there's anything feeding down. If there's anything feeding down, we need to cut out, cut the tea out, leave the pipe in, and then we'll attach from the loft and feed that over. All right, right. too fast, too much information. Right. A little bit, but... A little bit, little right, bit, okay. Right. Simplify it for you. Just careful with it. Just fuck. Didn't even need to. <laughs> Perfect. Awesome, I think Seifert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never had that before in my life. Never. Usually you blow it out, because what yeah. you don't want to do is go upstairs, after you drain the heating, and then stick your gob on it and get a gob full of heating water as well. Oh, that's not going to happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's not going to happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's not going to happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's not going to happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's not going to happen. But that's what I was trying to get Matt with. Yeah. I was trying to leave a bit in it, so when he sucks on it, he gets a gob full of metal water. You are nice. It's, it won't do you any harm, it's not done me any harm, has it? <laughs> okay, we've got to get the, the balance flow out before the boiler will come out. If you try and take that, if I disconnect everything from inside and then try and pull that boiler out, Ain't gonna go nowhere with that attached to it because there's no movement. I think he does it for fun, you know. He's done it about six times so far. Basically, all these are dead now. So there's gonna be water in this. So what we're gonna do, we've got a bucket behind me. We get Matt to stand there. We've got the wet vac though, so we can use the wet vac, but it's a bit more awkward to get the wet vac up. Um, usually what we would do, um, if it was a little, like, there's a bit too much pipe, we could be here to do it. We'd usually just keep the tank draining and then lift that tank up and push all the water back into the tank and then siphon it out. But we're not going to do that with this. We're going to cut the, all the pipe work off it now and then just drain them into a bucket. But these, so this one feeds your hot water tank feed it so you've got your hot water tank bath 
and then round the back over there is feeding a uh, mixer shower which is just underneath us um, the hot I don't know which side the hot's fed off yet that's why we're just taking all the lagging off um, just to find out but these are now redundant so your hot water is now pressurized it comes straight from the cold main through the combi boiler so that is then redundant we're going to link the um the shower and the cold feed for the bath and the sink which is in the bathroom which is one of these we'll link that to the cold main as well there is a little bit of work to do up here i'm um, just linking some pipe work together but like i said we're just going to strip everything back now take all the lagging off to just to see what's what and where it goes look at them Domestic duty rating, 95 kilos. I'm 94 and a half. <laughs> <laughs> What, brother? Are you putting them out now? Yeah, whoa, shit. The whole thing's gone. It's all right, I've got it, I've got it. Sure. I've got myself, yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Mm. I'm all right, I've got it. Yeah. yeah. Fuck me. Ah. That broke any plasterboard down there, Matt? Just the architrave. Just the architrave, yeah. right, okay. Uh, how much is holding that on? Fucking hate these ladders. Right, okay. Do us a favour, Matt. Yeah. Come grab my ladders from upstairs. From downstairs. Come right at it, could you? Can you keep them out of these ladders? Look at that. Just because he's having his bathroom done. I'm not going to cut all this down and try and make it look dead neat. I'm not going to do, I'm doing that for a reason. So if anybody comes up, like say if he gets somebody else into the bathroom, when they come up, they're going to see that that pipe's connected and it's dropping back down onto the shower. Yeah, but I'm going to put an isolation valve in the middle of it because that shower looks like it's seen a lot better days. Right, put that. So we're here with the customer now. Uh, what do you think about the installation so far? Excuse me? The, whoever's built this, I've got to get this off. There's no way of getting it off without damaging everything. There's no way I can stop that moving. To be honest, mate, I hate that thing being there, so it's easy for you to get it out. But if it's better for you, keep it. It's not better for me, keep it. Alright, good. It's the last time, mate. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of anyway. You can't fight nature. I honestly thought, mate, well, there is pipes there, isn't it? Yeah, but they're gone, mate. That's what I mean. If you um, you've got a loft that's. Wall, though, can't yeah, you can. So I'm going to use that loft that's now. All your pipe work, I'm hoping yeah. the hot and cold is up there as well. So when I do the conversion, the conversion's in that cylinder cupboard. Right. So the pipes from the boiler go up there and then go straight to that cylinder cupboard. I've got to, because everything goes in there to connect to the valves, yeah, yeah. I've got to connect everything inside there. Exactly. Yeah, so I'm using the standoff packet because I'm going to bring on the pipes with a bit of a loft hatch here. And um, it's got basically the hot and cold drop down in that corner to feed that sink. And the heating pipes are up here as well. Um, so save having loads of pipe work on shore, I can do everything in the loft space above. This allows me to drop them down the back of the boiler. Second loft of the day? Yeah, this one I won't fall out of because using my own ladders. <laughs> First fix basically on the boiler, so tomorrow will just be a second fix. So I've got to connect some pipes up there, I've got to connect the boiler up, I've got the gas to run from down here, but as for tonight, 
um, that's pretty much all, as far as we're going to go with it rather than tapping into other pipe work up there or getting the boiler on the wall and stuff I might have to alter some of this pipe work so I don't want to go too far with putting the boiler on I don't want to start tapping into pipe work either because we're going to get the water on and just leave the cold water on from this evening but apart from that for today that's pretty much all we're going to do see you tomorrow see you tomorrow <laughs>